There'd been some pretty weird goings on at Sunset Cove, but nothing like the day that aliens finally arrived. I thought I'd seen the last of something. Dr. Freerail. But those aliens had other ideas. They had done something to her, and she seemed to have changed. Did you miss me? Then they zapped right back into space like a cheesy special effect of some low-budget TV soap. But you know the weirdest thing of all? Octavia. My Octavia had finally declared her love for me. And our schmucko was turning her down. Why? Why did I do it? Because I can't trust you, OK? That is why. I am a senior operative in the most effective counterintelligence agency in the world. Of course you can trust me. Go to now and effect. Giles, you've got to believe me. We're running out of time. Yeah. Okay, so 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 so, so now I, I know your secret. I have to be exterminated. Oh, oh no. So so I must be I must be getting followed by some corny looking assassin who who, who wears a dark suit and, and wears dark shades like all the time and who never speaks. Right? Do you know how naive that sounds, Giles? <laughs> These people are professionals. They're trained to blend in with their surroundings. Giles, when, when your time comes, you won't know what hit you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll tell you, just don't buy it. Okay, why would a bunch of spies want you to marry Josh so that when he's president, you can be first lady? <laughs> Josh is president. Are you expect me to believe it? I said, hello, Octavia, do you expect me to believe that? But listen, okay, I am, I'm, I'm trying to talk openly and honestly to you, but it's, it's, it's like you're not even trying. Okay, however, if you'd like to sunbathe, then fine. But what chance have we got? He was right here. Do me a favor, just leave me alone. Friends and family say the girl has gone through a total transformation from fuckering sweet angel to insatiable sex goddess. Will you look at that poor girl? And all because Giles dumped her. When I get my hands on that boy. I thought it was the aliens. What? Well, what's the doohickey? Transmogrifier. Transmogrified into the opposite of their true selves. Anyway, whatever happened, She's out there, man. Yeah, way yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, what are you talking about? The machine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you should get one. <laughs> They're way cool. Disgusting. <laughs> The once sleepy town of Sunset Cove is now in the grip of alien fever. People have come from all over the state to watch the skies and generously offering to get abducted by aliens and to make a movie of their life story. Excuse me? See my friend? for your bedtime story, boys? <laughs> and are you sitting comfortably? Well, don't, because this story is going to creep you out. You see, it's all about a little kitten, a little bitty fluffy kitten, the fluffiest you ever saw. Now one day, the fluffy kitten met another kitten, a nerdy one with glasses. And the fluffy kitten fell head over fluffy tail in love. But the nerdy kitten didn't want to know the fluffy kitten. So you know what she did? She turned into a tiger. <laughs> you! Me? Where's Giles? They want to eliminate Giles. I mean it, they'll stop at nothing. You know, to think I fell in love with you, Octavia. You know, I wanted you to be my wife. What are you doing here anyway? Why are we in the library? 
You know, there's a name for people like you, Octavia. Okay, the, the people with delusions, people with like grandiose ideas about themselves, thinking they're like spies or something. You know, I looked it up. Oh yeah, I, I did. I looked it up on one of, one of these medical journal books. Get dinner up to me, please. I'd not to me. Tell me. Yeah. Here it is. You're 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 a liar. <laughs> That's swallow, isn't it? That really stinks. I suppose you did try to save my life. I mean, for all I know, it could have been a self-inflicted wound. I mean, look around you, Octavia. What are you protecting me from? The librarian? This is a sickness, Octavia. We need help. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> The samurai sword scene, the Academy War goes to Octavia. Giles, I'm getting a bit tired of this. I've been falling over backwards trying to save you. I've had a narrow escape with a spear, and more recently a poisoned dart. Oh, Giles, there you are. Man, you're in big trouble. What did I do now? Well, Sophie's back and she wants to see you. Ugh, this one's too hard. Would you mind giving it a chew for me? Thanks, sugar. You know, kind of fruity. Would you pay me a great... Is that really Sophie? Giles! The rabbit's looking at me funny. <laughs> Donna, you alright? Hey! Where do you think you're going, lover boy? Think you can run out on me a second time, huh? <sighs> Sophie! <laughs> oh, no, nice to see you. How's things been? Things are much better, thanks. Though I have to admit it was a bit of a close call back there. With the, um, with the aliens? Yeah, well... Not with the aliens, you miserable geek. <sighs> with you. Can you believe it, boys? This guy actually turned me down. <laughs> but it's okay. It was a lucky break. I came this close to being settled with the puniest, nerdiest, speckiest, loser geek on the campus, if not the whole planet. So eat your heart out, zit boy, because you've blown your chances with me for all time. Really? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Get out! Just go! I never want to set eyes on you again, you loser! Shane, can I talk to you for a few seconds? Sure thing, Josh. What's on your mind? Well, you know, the business between Octavia and me. Oh, you mean how she dumped you at the altar for that nerdy kid Giles. That's gotta be humiliating. Yeah, the thing is... And then you thought you were married to Sabrina, and she took you for every penny sending the Dow Jones off the scale. Wow. Yeah, well, I was wondering... Now you can't even show your face around without everyone cracking up laughing at you. Right. Nobody sees how badly you're hurting inside. Right. What about it? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Sure thing, buddy. Catch you later. I still love Octavia. You know, I mean, I, I think I always will, but it just can't be a one-way thing, you know? I've got to know that she feels the same way, that, that, that she'll, she'll be there when, when the going gets rough. And... Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Something going on, blah, blah, blah. blah. Is Octavia still around? What about Beanie? No, I, I can't bear to think that he's gone forever, you know? Well, don't worry, I mean, you'll find him. How do you know? Because I'm gonna help you, that's fine. Sophie! A psycho Sophie, get out of here. Nah, it's true, Sabrina. She's really steaming it. <laughs> Sophie couldn't steam it wearing mink in a sauna. Relax, boys, she's no competition. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Hey, by the way, neither of you have mentioned my outfit. Yeah, really nice. You look very uh, presentable. Thanks. Well, we better get going. Dorsey's giving a lecture on Atlantis. So see you around. Dorsey? Are you kidding me? So what? Hey, wait a minute. Presentable! <laughs> Come on out! 
We've got the place surrounded. Damn, aliens got no respect for authority. She's not an alien, sir. She got abducted. Can't take any chances. <laughs> I'll give you five seconds to come out. One, two, three, four, five. She's not gonna play ball. Keep me covered. I'm going in. I wouldn't. Stand aside. Now, young lady, are you gonna come along with me? Well, I'm kind of busy right now. What did you want me for? You've had a strange and disturbing experience which could be of great value to science. We have to do some strange and disturbing tests to make sure. But I was only in space for such a short while. You don't think that I'm contagious or anything, do you? This is an alien life form we're talking about here. They could be using your body to incubate their young. Any minute, one of the damn things could come bursting out of your, uh, your... It's pretty brave of you, I must say. Coming all the way in here alone, without any of your big, hunky soldiers to protect you. Thought you could manage by yourself. Oh, dear. I am more than a match for any man, Commander. What about a woman? Oh, no. You think you're a match for me, sweetie? <laughs> and in conclusion, the Atlanteans were a very modern society. Some people believe that they were so advanced that they had progressed beyond language and communicated instead by mobile telephone. Mr. Darcy, how is it that you know so much about the lost city of Atlantis? Well, I made a study of it on my planet. Uh, on my vacation. <laughs> <clears throat> but more to the point, how is it you know so much? That replica cake that you made was remarkable, right down to the marzipan foundations. Uh, stay behind after class. I have a special assignment for you. The rest of you may go. Mr. Darcy, what's my assignment? How would you like to help me find the real city of Atlantis? Welcome to the final of the first ever man-eating competition inaugurating Alien Awareness Week here at Atlantis High. Right, Violet. It's a no-holds-barred competition between the defending champion in the red corner, Sexy Sabrina. Go, Sabrina! Go, Sabrina! And in the blue corner, the challenger, spooky, demon-possessed, now friend to the alien, Psycho Sophie! Yay, Sophie! Oh, I love her. Yay, Sophie! And she bakes a great apple pie, too. Down with the bunny lover. Up with Sabrina! And round one is the hair flick. And look, we can see the girls getting ready. And the atmosphere in the arena is explosive. And at the sound of the bell, it's Sophie with an early lead. She has a hold over Commander Vermont. Look at that. But wait. Sabrina counters with a formation hold over the commander's entire platoon. An outstanding reply from the champ coach. Guess that's why they say she's the best in the world. Okay, okay, first of all, he's, he's got to be alive, you know? I mean, Beanie wouldn't do anything stupid. Everything he does is stupid. That's why I love him. True. But, he, but he's not suicidal, you know? I mean, he, he's just upset. Where, where do people go when they're upset? I got it! They, they, they go home. But he was home when he left. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you know, he's going second home with, with, with relatives. I know, I know, I know. We can, we can try to score off to find out. I mean, they have their stuff on file somewhere. Even in 
Mario 30 Gamepad. This is very close. Can Sabrina pull something out of the bag? with an eyelash flutter and an eye diversion tactic. <gasps> Look at the length of those lashes! Give it up, Octavia. I mean, you're making a fool of yourself. I'm talking to you! What's happening? You are having a long night of this soul. I will be your guide. Who are you? Elthered. Elthered the Rude! <laughs> I am from Scandinavia. We know all about the long nights up there. Elthered the Rude? Why do they call you that? Mind your own business, donkey breath! I'm your true ancestor. We Vikings have spread all over the Western world for centuries before settling down to make high-quality pine furniture at affordable prices. <laughs> You're here to help me, right? Are you one of those, uh, right to passage guys from Icelandic folklore? No. It's one of those plot device things you get in daytime television. But I will try to help you. First, we must assemble this flat, pet shelf unit together. Then all to become clear. Let's go. Sirens of Sin, and they are ready to rock. It's very close. Sabrina won the last round with a hold over the Sunset Cove Fire Department. Give the coup there. Go, Sabrina! Come on, Sophie! You said there were 27 bolts. 27 short ones and one long one. Yeah, well, you can't count. You are a dork. You've got a terrible Swedish accent. Hey, don't blame me, kid. It's your dream, eh? <laughs> Looks like they're going head to head. Oh, there's nothing in it. But wait, who's that coming through the crowd? <laughs> it's the king. The king himself is going to make the choice. Looks like one of these girls is headed for a heartbreak hotel. Which one is it going to be? It's going to be... Sophie! Psycho Sophie has won the competition! I don't mean any disrespect or anything, but... This dream's getting me kind of tired. I think I'll go back to bed. Oh, well, then you will have learned nothing from this experience! Learn? What am I supposed to learn? Look, it took forever to build, and there were three... Bolts missing. Okay, look, wait. I think I know what you mean. Look, the moral is learn to be patient. Right? Wrong. Try again. No, I can't. Of course you can. The Montanas do not give up. Well, this one does. Look, I can't keep on living up to my family's high traditional history. It's nobility and it's doing good all the time. It's too much. Good deeds. Us? <laughs> what are you talking about? The Montanas didn't get anywhere by doing good. They were a bunch of crooks. That is a tradition you must follow. No! You have willfully attempted to thwart a fellow agent in the execution of his... execution. What have you to say for yourself? Do we have a first aid kit anywhere? Look, why do you want to eliminate Giles? He's a nobody, a jerk. So why do you want to protect him? Because he... Because I... Just leave him alone. There are alien creatures out there abducting people, probably with all kinds of top secret ray guns and things. Don't you think we should be working on that? The ray guns? We are working on them. I think your father may be in league with the aliens. I want you to watch him even more closely. 
Okay, okay. But what about Giles? <sighs> Today, Giles. Okay. Okay, okay well, okay, now we're getting somewhere. <gasps> Look, it's been here's a little baby. Oh, he's so cute. He hasn't changed at all. He really hasn't changed at all, has he? Look, and this is his first day at school. See, look, there he is with Mr. Dorsey. And look, here's a painting of him with George Washington. <laughs> look at that. He's cut down that tree and he's trying to blame George. Okay, wait a minute. I mean, look, I've heard of a family history, but I mean, look, he, he's everywhere. The, the, the pyramids, he's... There he is as Michelangelo. I mean, look, this guy's gonna be like a thousand or a million years of age. <gasps> oh, oh, Giles, look at that tummy to the true. Oh, 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 oh. sorry. It, it looks like he was a Bay City Rollers fan. <laughs> Octavia can't help you this time. Uh, uh, oh, you're. I am death. Uh. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. right -o. Wouldn't you know it? Last minute reprieve. I've had three this week. Well, sorry to bother you. Ta-ta. Uh. I could never work out the mystery of the assassin, or Beanie, or Octavia, or anyone else at Atlantis High for that matter. Since arriving, nothing made sense. <laughs> <laughs> or was it just me? At times I felt as if I was from another planet. But all my problems were nothing compared to the threat that lay ahead. And Sunset Cove would never be the same again. Look, Mom, I was wondering if you could do something for me. No, it's got nothing to do with cash. I was wondering if you could shut down all the computers on the Western Seaboard at the same time. Yeah? Really? Thanks, Mom. I love you too. Yes, I'm still your Joshi Washi. Okay. Gotta go. Bye. No offense, but that is not a good look. Good morning, Violet. Great day for it. Ah, Coach Shane. I can explain. Explain what? <laughs> what I'm doing here. Moonlighting? Why, yes. Because the school board won't let you sell the books? Well, it's not like they're getting read. <laughs> so you have to take a second job to make more money. You're a very mysterious man, Coach Shane. How do you know so much? Oh, dear. Word of advice. Shave it all off. Bald is this year's blonde. What are you looking at? Beat it, sister! Get out of my way! <laughs> Get out of here! Who are you? They call me Moon! Bad Moon! Are you a force for good? What are you think? 